Hi, I'm Barb. And I'm Alex. And we're in Tentarium. In today's video, we'll be making Aurelian Sol, the Star Forger from League of Legends. Aurelian Sol is a celestial dragon, creator of the universe, who has been tricked into servitude. He hates Targonians, people who enslaved him, and now he rebels against them and fights for his freedom. It's just... adorable. For the base of this doll, we'll be using Nathan Rod from Monster High. To begin this custom, I'm removing all of the ugly seams on the doll and sending his body nice and smooth. Then, I give his body a couple of layers of pink, blue and purple chalk pastels to make it a little bit more alive. Between each layer, I spray him with MSC. I take a pair of pliers and remove his unicorn horn. I don't mind the holes because I'll give him yarn here later. I'm also cutting his ears with a sharp utility knife and gluing them back to a different spot. We wanted to make him look a little less like a horse and more like a dragon that he is. I used fast drying epoxy glue to attach his ears back to his head. You just squeeze it out of the syringe and it portions it for you. Mix, apply and wait for it to bond. Time to make the hair! I'm going to brush out this blue and purple yarns to make wefts. I use Mozakito's irreplaceable method. Check her out, you can find a link to her channel in the description box below. I also used some leftover pink wefts I had from our Tecna custom. Instead of making a wig cap, I am gluing the hair directly to his head. I find it a little easier and since we're keeping this doll, we don't mind it at all. I'm just applying the wefts layer by layer until I completely cover his head. Face up time. After some blushing, I correct any mistakes with a kneaded eraser and continue adding color. I'm giving him some bushy brows with pastels. Because the doll is so dark, I switched to acrylic paint pretty early in this custom to give me some more coverage. With paint, I can refine some eye and brow details using a very fine brush. I go back and forth between watercolor pencils and paints until I'm satisfied. We wanted a dark, mysterious expression on his face to reflect his contempt towards those who chained him. I'm adding some more vivid pinks and purples to accentuate Nathan's original face mold. And finally, I gloss his eyes with a glossy varnish. Moving on to his outfit, I sew the simple sleeveless shirt. First, I sew the shoulder seams and move on to hem armholes and the neckline. Next, I sew the side seams with the material right sides together. For his skirt type thing, I ironed this black patch onto the navy material and cut out a rectangle. I made a simple waistband out of another rectangle and sewed them together while making a fold, more or less eyeballing everything. Using this metal skewer, I'm going to shape his back and tail armor. I cut it out of craft foam so it can be easily shaped by heating it over a candle and letting it cool in a position you want it to stay in. I'm just going to go over the candle with each one of the pieces and curl them on the rod so it sticks out nicely when I put it on his body. 
I also shaped his chest plate on our lovely helper Heath. Using a custom blend of acrylic paints and perlex, I paint the chest piece and the plates, later adding some details. I'm using Aurelion Soul's 3D model as a reference of screen. For his headpiece, horns and jaw, we decided to incorporate some of our new toys and skills, 3D printing. I sculpted these elements in ZBrush one by one, referencing Aurelion's various models and concepts. After a few rounds of scaling, reshaping and test prints on our FDM machine, we printed it in resin. Here, you can see them curing in the sun. After priming and smoothing all of the pieces, I gave them a couple of coats of acrylic paints for a golden look. Back to the sewing station, I make this triangular shaped sleeve for his tail. I put a rolled up weft at the bottom and sew it close. I'm also going to add a wire to the long seam to make the tail a bit poseable. I stuffed the tail with some leftover fluff from brushing out the yarn, helping myself with something long to really pack it in. I'm sewing his shirt directly to his body because I want it to be as tight as possible. I'll cover the seam later with the foam plates. Then. I sew the skirt on by closing the waistband in the front, again with a needle and thread. Using hot glue, I attach this piece in the front to cover his private area. Then, I glue his tail through a hole in the clothes, into the hole where his previous tail was. Time to glue the plates. I start at the top and push every next one under the previous. I use a hot glue gun for all of this assembly process. I accidentally swapped two of them and the size doesn't match, but it didn't bug me too much in the end. We decided he looked a little plain for the mighty Star Forger, so I added some painted detail here and there. Actually, a lot of them both on his clothes and in the crevices in Nathan's original body mode. I also shaded the chest piece with a color pencil and painted his calves gold to match the headpiece. For a final detail, I added some cool half pearls to the back plates. They're not gold as in the original art, but aren't they cool looking? And finally, I glued his crown on. Here's how he turned out! His jaw is removable because we wanted to showcase his face up too. I think 
he looks like a good protective uncle without it. And then he puts it on and becomes an evil emperor of the outer space. Anyway, let us know what you think about him. Have an enchanted day and we'll see you next time.